let's look at parallel lines cut by a transversal line. So remember, angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary, which means they have to add up to 180. So let's talk about corresponding angles. Since these are parallel, angle 1 and angle 5 are going to be congruent. These are called corresponding angles. They're going to be the exact same measure which also means that two and six are congruent because they are corresponding angles. Remember that one and four, any angles that are directly across from each other, are congruent. They are called vertical angles, which means that two and three are also vertical angles. Then we can look down here and see if we have any other vertical angles. Five and eight are vertical, so they're congruent, as well as six and seven. And remember, each straight line that goes across should add up to 180 since they are supplementary angles. So each time we have a straight line, those should add up to 180 for each of those. Now see if you can figure out the missing angles on these parallel lines based on what we know. Remember, these two are supplementary, so see if you can figure those out. Pause the video now to see if you can figure out what those would be. If this is 135, remember those are supplementary angles, so this would be 45 degrees, which would make this angle here 45 and this one 135. Since these are corresponding angles, this would also be 135 as well as it's vertical. And this is corresponding so those two would be 45 as well.